Okay, it's January the 1st of 2015 and I'm out here in the shop preparing to defork the next R11. I've got a CGM mount on the way and I want to be prepared for its arrival. Bottom line, the day has come. I, if I had any doubts as to whether or not I wanted to continue using this wonderful scope on our big heavy fork, they were dispelled uh, just by lifting the scope out of her case. She's just too heavy for me now. In order to spread the fork apart so that uh, you can slide the tube out later, step one is to remove the, the handle and then the cover from the fork arm, the left fork arm. Uh, this scope was built back in the Celestron Tasco days and is uh, uses SAE wrenches and screws. Next step is pulling off the cover and uh, cover of the uh, fork arm, removing its hex screws in order to gain access to the screws that will allow you to separate the fork slightly so you can slide the tube out. lower cover has to come off too to expose the four screws that allow you to spread the fork arm slightly. As you can probably see, there. once you get that lower little cover off, they're rather easy to see. Next thing you do is remove the four screws, two up front, two in the back on each side of the OTA that hold the fork arm fork arms to the OTA. Uh, all four are again hex head screws. Next up is loosening those four large screws that hold the fork arm together so you can slide it out. Or so the instructions that I've got set. Okay, once you have loosened all four big Phillips head screws and they are large mothers. They are large mothers on each side. Uh, you can spread the fork arms enough to get the OTA out. OTA out. It's held in place. You may be able to see by alignment pins down in there. I expected them to slip out fairly easy. They did not. I had to do a little prime with a screwdriver. But now the OTA, excuse me, the OTA is free. And that, as they say, is that. Actually, it was probably more trouble just uh, putting the uh, covers back on, putting the fork back together since I want to sell it, than it was really getting it apart, getting the OTA out once I realized that the alignment pins sticking into the fork, uh, which you can see right here, uh, were in more firmly than I kind of expected them to. They were smooth, but fit was tight. And here is the OTA, Big Bertha's OTA, Big Bertha herself, and uh, I think all she requires is just a little cleaning up and that'll be it. 